As the Metro Goldline Light Rail Line is extended from its current terminus in Pasadena, east along the foothills of the San Gabriel Valley, it will expand opportunities for millions of county residents and visitors to access a variety of points of interest only easily accessible today by car. The communities along the foothill extension of the Gold Line are home to dozens of colleges and universities, hospitals, recreational treasures, historic downtowns, and much more. This episode is part one of a two-part video tour developed by the Metro Gold Line Foothill Extension Construction Authority to highlight the connections that will be made once the 24-mile Foothill Extension is complete. Part 1 highlights some of the exciting new places you will be able to visit between Pasadena and Azusa, the segment currently under construction, while Part 2 will focus on the future planned extensions from Azusa to Montclair and Montclair to the LA Ontario International Airport. This first video is partially funded by the Federal Transit Administration and will not only introduce points of interest along the 11.5-mile foothill extension from Pasadena to Azusa, but also provide information on how local bus service providers and cities are working with the Construction Authority to improve transit, bike, and pedestrian linkages to these destinations from the future stations. Over the next few years, the Construction Authority will be constructing the next 11.5 miles of the Gold Line, extending light rail from the current terminus in East Pasadena through the cities of Arcadia, Monrovia, Duarte, Irwindale, and Azusa. Along the way, riders will be able to access some of our most important regional destinations. Here is an overview of some of our favorite spots along the Foothill Extension Corridor, starting in the city of Arcadia, the location of the first new stop along the extension. Known for its beautiful neighborhoods, warm character, and a community of homes atmosphere, the city of Arcadia places great emphasis on preserving green space. This is evidenced by the large population of healthy trees you will find all around town. Arcadians take pride in their well-established traditions and high standards. This includes a highly regarded school district and a full-service hospital. The Methodist Hospital of Southern California is a 460-bed full-service medical facility founded in 1903 and located just south of City Hall. Arcadia also offers an excellent assortment of recreation and leisure activities. A highlight is the 127-acre Los Angeles County Arboretum and Botanical Garden, jointly operated by the Arboretum Foundation and the County of Los Angeles. Home to plant collections from all over the world, including many rare and endangered species, the Arboretum also houses outdoor historical landmarks representative of the major phases of California history. Finally, just down the road from the Arboretum is the largest shopping center in the San Gabriel Valley, the Westfield Santa Anita, and one of the oldest and most famous racetracks in North America, Santa Anita Park Racetrack. Built in 1934, Santa Anita Park today sponsors countless special and seasonal events. The future Arcadia Gold Line station is being located at the northwest corner of Santa Clara Street and First Avenue, a short walk, bike ride, or bus ride to many points of interest located in the city. Next door, to the east of Arcadia, is the next new stop along the Foothill Extension in the city of Monrovia. Monrovia's small town charm is reason enough to visit, but there is also plenty to delight and entertain any visitor to the community. More than 1,100 hotel rooms make Monrovia an easy and comfortable stop for business or pleasure. The quintessential charm of Old Town, which is the epitome of fine foods, fun and shopping pleasure at any time, is particularly exciting on Friday nights from March through December when the Family Festival, the largest street fair of its kind in California, takes over Myrtle Avenue. And for the avid hiker, there is the trail through riparian woodlands to a waterfall in Canyon Park. Monrovia is a welcoming destination for all seasons filled with nature, entertainment, and culture. The future Monrovia Gold Line Station is being located just northwest of the intersection of Duarte Road and Myrtle Avenue, near the site of the historic Santa Fe Depot. Duarte is the third new stop along the foothill extension from Pasadena to Azusa and is home to the world-renowned City of Hope National Medical Center, an independent biomedical research, treatment, and educational institution. City of Hope is a recognized leader in the fight to conquer cancer, diabetes, HIV AIDS, and other life-threatening diseases and is located across the street from the future Duarte Station. Additionally, the City of Duarte is home to the Duarte Historical Museum as well as the Justice Brothers Racing Museum. Founded in 1985, the Racing Museum has a wide variety of vintage race cars, motorcycles, and engines that are sure to entice car enthusiasts. 
The future Duarte Gold Line Station is located on Duarte Road just east of Highland Avenue, steps away from the City of Hope National Medical Center. After Duarte Station, the next stop is in the City of Irwindale, a vibrant and thriving business community bounded by Interstates 210 and 605. Due in large part to its ease of access, Irwindale is the home to over 700 businesses, including major satellite offices and headquarters for some of the most well-known companies in the nation, including Ready Pack Produce, Miller Brewing, and Charter Communications. Another major employer for the city is the rock and gravel quarry. Almost every highway in the state of California, and many highways west of the Mississippi River, have Irwindale Rock as part of their foundation. This is one of the reasons the city is known as Jardin de Roca, or Garden of Rocks. In addition to its business community, Irwindale also offers a number of entertainment and recreational treasures. The Santa Fe Dam Recreation Area is considered one of the many hidden jewels of Southern California. This 836-acre facility boasts a 70-acre lake with year-round fishing and non-motorized watercraft usage, including a 5-acre chlorinated swim beach and water play area. Many regional events take place in the recreation area. One of our favorites is the original Renaissance Pleasure Fair that takes place in April and May every year. Another notable entertainment venue in the city of Irwindale is the Toyota Speedway, a motorsports facility which features banked, paved one-half and one-third mile oval tracks and an eighth of a mile drag strip. The Speedway opened in 1999 and has attracted as many as 10,000 attendees to its races. The future Irwindale Gold Line Station is located off Irwindale Avenue, just south of the I-210 freeway. The next two stops along the Gold Line Foothill Extension are in the city of Azusa, with its rugged mountains and foothills forming a spectacular backdrop. Azusa is home to two future Gold Line stations, the Azusa Alameda Station and Azusa Citrus Station. The future Azusa Alameda Station is located just north of Foothill Boulevard between Azusa and Alameda Avenues in the heart of the city's business and civic district. While the future Azusa Citrus Station will be located northwest of the Foothill Boulevard Citrus Avenue intersection, steps away from Citrus College and Azusa Pacific University. Together, these two institutions of higher education draw thousands of students, faculty, and visitors who currently struggle with traffic and parking issues. They are among the most eager for the Foothill Extension's completion. We have many students who cannot afford a car, who have challenges in terms of higher education because of transportation. So those students, if they can now travel by public transportation, will save on the gas cost, they'll save on the cost of maintaining a vehicle, they'll save on insurance. So we see this as improving higher education for many who may not have had access to higher education. This is that young adult population that really um, lean in to uh, the uh, mass transit, to the buses and the trains. So we have a number already who are cobbling together kind of the, the bus and train route to get to Alvera Street or Union Station. This will be a much more direct route and I can just tell you, you know, uh, our students will hop on that train and uh, be on it on a regular basis if for no other reason than to open up the venues of Southern California. Now that we have identified some of the destinations you can enjoy once the Foothill Extension from Pasadena to Azusa is completed in 2015, you are invited to visit the Construction Authority's website to find the best way to get to your destination by taking a bus, riding a bicycle, or walking from the station. On the website, you will find a page devoted to each city from Pasadena to Azusa. Each will provide a link to an interactive map that identifies where points of interest are located in relation to the future station as well as the bus routes that will link to that station and any existing bike paths. Additionally, many of these points of interest are within a quarter, half, or one mile of the station, making them an easy walk for many people. To view the interactive maps or to view other videos about the Foothill Extension, go to www.foothillextension.org.